Hello and welcome to Philibon's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called FTP Unidirectional Link Detection. In the previous video, we looked at problems that could be created by unidirectional links. In other words, a connection between two switches where some or all types of data packets can be sent and receive in one direction but not the other. Some unidirectional links issues are created by problems in the connection media. Usually, unidirectional link cable issues only occur with fiber optics. A unidirectional link poses a potential danger to spanning tree topologies because BPDUs will not be received on one end of the link. If that end of the link normally would be in the blocking state, the missing BPDUs will cause it to go into the forwarding state. A switch interprets the absence of BPDUs to mean that the interface port is not connected to another switch. However, if a bad cable causes BPDUs from being received, a bridging loop forms and the switch never realizes the mistake. Unidirectional link detection is a Cisco proprietary feature that prevents ports from reacting to BPDUs going missing. UDLD enabled ports will send out echo messages every second containing their device ID and port ID. The local switches expect the remotely connected switches to reply to the echo. If the switch does not receive a reply to five of its echo packets, the port is declared unidirectional and will be put in the error disabled state. When a data packet is flooded out of all of the ports, that data packet will go counterclockwise through the network until the interface is disconnected or the switch is powered down. Cisco recommends using both UDLD and LoopGuard to protect yourself against spanning tree software issues as well as bad cable connections. UDLD protects from wiring configuration problems, while LoopGuard protects against missing BPDUs caused by software problems. In order to install UDLD on a switch globally, you can use the UDLD enable command to configure it in normal mode, or UDLD aggressive to configure it in aggressive mode. And to configure UDLD on a specific interface, you can use UDLD port to configure it in normal mode and UDLD port aggressive to configure it in aggressive mode. The unidirectional link detection works by sending out echo packets just like ping packets. If a switch is able to send and receive the UDLD packet, it means that the cable has the ability to communicate with the other switch. UDLD has to be configured on both of the connected switch interfaces for it to work properly. They need to be able to ping each other with the UDLD packet. Now, let's look at the scenario again, assuming that we have configured UDLD on every switch interface that is connected to another switch. The backup switch is unable to send BPDUs because of the damaged cable, and so the test switch second interface comes out of the blocking state. The test switch knows 
that it was previously indirectly connected to the root switch through interface 2, but now it suddenly stopped receiving BPDUs. UDLD will assume that the interface link is now unidirectional and put the interface in the error disabled state since it is using the aggressive mode. We have just looked at a method of protecting networks from unidirectional link issues caused by faulty connection media. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.